Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this video, I will show how we can create this kind of videos using fluid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this default zone by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's add UV sphere. So go to this add mesh select UV sphere. Let's place the UV sphere here. So this will be the source for the liquid. So now being selected, this UV sphere complete this object. Quick effects, select this liquid, quick liquid. So here you can see we got a box created around the sphere. So this is the domain. So basically liquid simulations takes place inside the domain only. Now let's scale up. So select the domain, press S and increase the scaling. Press one for front view and let's place the domain here. Now let's select the UV sphere and place it here. Now select the domain, come to this physics property. So domain type, let it be liquid. Resolution, I will change this to 64. So here you can see this voxel size right at the corner. So this voxel size should be less in the scaling when compared to the source which is emptying liquid. So now scroll down. So here I don't want any collisions, border collisions except bottom. So I will uncheck all these options here. Now scroll down and enable this mesh option. Now come to this diffusion, enable this diffusion also. So here we got these three lines, right? This is the preset. So click on this presets and select honey. Now come to this catchy options here. We need to select a folder where we can save the catchy. So let me select a folder here quickly. So here I have selected a folder to save the catchy data. So frame start and end. So I will change this to 350 frames. And I think these settings are enough for domain. Now select the source, which is our use sphere. So flow type, let it be liquid. Flow behavior, change it to inflow. So let's change the timeline to 350. So here I don't want the liquid to be falling throughout the timeline. So I need to stop it after 300 frames. I will move 300 frames forward. Add a keyframe for this use flow option. Just click on that dot here. A keyframe will be added. Now move one frame forward and disable this use flow option and add a keyframe. That means from 0 to 300, the liquid will flow from the source. After that, it will stop. I think this much is fine for the sphere. So now let's add colliding objects. So go to this add mesh, select the torus. So come to this options. So here segments, I will increase this to 64 and minor segments, I will increase this to 32 to get the smooth finishing and major radius. I will increase this like 0.5 and minor radius. I will increase this here like this. And now let's place this here. Now beyond the first one, come to the starting frame here. Move on to the starting frame. Press I on the keyboard to add a keyframe for rotation. Now move to the last frame. Come to this object properties. So here we got this XYZ axis, right? So I'll change the values here. So I will change this to 720, 720 and Z axis also 720. Now add a keyframe by pressing I on the keyboard and click on this rotation. So a keyframe added it here. Now select both the keyframe by pressing A on the keyboard, press T and select this linear. So now I will add another object here. So go to this add mesh. Again, I will add a torus only. But now I will reduce the scaling and let's place this. So let it be at the center. So press S and let it be here. Press 7 for top view. Okay. So now, okay. So this is at the center. Press 1 and let's place this here like this. Now B on the starting frame, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for rotation. Now move to the last frame. Here we will add negative value. So minus X axis minus 720, Y also minus 720, and Z also minus 720. Now add keyframes here. Now again, select both the keyframes by pressing A on the keyboard. Now press T and select linear, nice. Now select the object, come to this physics property, add fluid. So type, change it to effector and effector type let it be collision and sampling i will increase this to 10. now again select this second object apply fluid onto that type change it to effector and effector type let it be collision and sampling change it to 10. so once this is done select the domain scroll down and here type change it to all and enable this is resumable option if you want to pass the break at any time and after that, click on this bake all button. So once the bake is done, we will have our liquid simulation done properly. So in this way, we can create this kind of fluid simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.